Hello everyone. So Valve have surprised everyone by granting Counter-Strike 2 beta limited access to every account with prime status in CSGO and official matchmaking rank and a good trust factor. Which means almost everyone has access to Counter-Strike 2 now. But the problem is uh, Counter-Strike 2 beta limited test is Windows only. So today we're going to help our macOS buddies install Counter-Strike 2 on their Mac and fix a major FPS bug. If you have already installed Counter-Strike 2 on your Mac, then you can skip ahead to the FPS bug fix from the timestamp below. We'll be using Apple's game porting toolkit to install the Windows version of Steam to install Counter-Strike 2 on our Mac. Uh, so for that you'll need to be on macOS Sonoma. So to install macOS Sonoma, you can click on the first link on the description below. So let's get started. So first step, uh, open any web browser of your preference and head into Apple's developer website. Link in the description. Here sign in to your Apple ID. Once signed in, uh, you'll need to download two things. The first one is command line tools for Xcode uh, 15. So download the latest version. Next, uh, search for game porting toolkit and download the latest version. Once they have been downloaded, you can exit out of your browser, head into downloads uh, and, down and install the command line tools through the DMZ file you just downloaded. Once the installation is complete, you can close out all the windows. Uh, go ahead and open a new terminal window. All the commands to be used in the terminal window are given in the description below. Copy and paste the first command to install Rosetta 2. Enter the next command to make the current cell x86 version. Copy and paste the uh, homebrew installation command to install the x86 version of homebrew. Once homebrew finishes installing, uh, type in which brew to check the path where the homebrew is installed. If this command does not give the following reply, then copy and paste the two commands uh, given under next step in the terminal to change the path of homebrew to the required path. Now we are ready to install Apple's game porting toolkit. To do so, copy and paste the uh, next two commands into your terminal window. Now this installation will take anywhere from half an hour to two hours depending on your processor speed and network speed. So be patient and let it complete. This next command creates a Windows portal with the name Win10. Change the Windows version to Windows 10 in the Wine configuration menu that shows up. Next step is to copy the game porting toolkit prefix into Wine. To do so, mount the Game Porting Toolkit DMZ file folder that we downloaded earlier and type in the following two commands. Now finally we can download and install Steam. So open up a browser and uh, download the Windows installer for Steam. But we're not done with the terminal commands just yet. So open up terminal window and type in the following command to install Steam. If you close the terminal window at any point in this video, then you'll need to type this command, the first command again, to open the x86 version of NZSH. Now we're going to type in the following three commands to trick a wine into th thinking that we're using the latest version of Windows. Now finally we can run Steam using this uh, command in the terminal. Once you log in, you'll get access to your entire Steam library, including the, your Windows games. Now, hold on the excitement because all the Windows games are not going to work. Uh, most of them, particularly the DirectX 9 games, will work, but they run very poorly because they are not translated into Metal, but rather they are still being translated into OpenCL software emulation. Uh, DirectX 10, 11, and 12 games are translated directly into Metal, so they perform very well. Mm games with uh, 
kernel level anti cheat are not going to work you're going to have to test out which games in your library work and which don't so let me quickly connect the external ssd where my steam library uh, is backed up so that we don't have to download any games right now Okay, let's open CS2 now. So when you first launch the game, you will notice that uh, the game does not perform well. You'll get extremely low FPS. Don't worry. Uh, this is a bug and we are going to fix it next. We'll customize our video settings for now before we fix the bug. Exit the game and right click on CSGO, uh, click on properties, scroll down to launch options, here type in the following command. So the problem seems to be that Steam for some reason tries to configure a controller into your game all the time during your gameplay even though no controller is connected to your system. This controller configuration seems to play very badly with Apple's game porting toolkit causing massive performance issues and extremely low FPS. The Nozoe launch option disables controller configuration completely and we can see the game performing much better. So with Apple's game porting toolkit you will need to launch a Steam through the terminal every time which can be a hassle so we are going to automate the process next so that we can launch the Windows version of Steam like any other app in macOS. We will do so by using a built-in macOS app called Automator. Press command space and open Automator. Click on new document. Select application and click choose. Scroll all the way to, uh, down to find run a cell script. Double click on it. Remove any script on it and copy and paste the script I've given in the description below. If you want uh, Metal's performance hard showing FPS in games then change the Metal HUD enabled to 1. Now press command S to save the script. Change the location to your applications folder and change you can change the name to anything you want. I'm gonna keep mine Steam Win. Save it. Then you can exit out of Automator. You can change the icon of the app you just created by following the instructions on the screen. You can use any PNG file as the logo. Now you can open the Windows version of Steam without the terminal by double clicking on this app. You will experience a few issues running CS2. Firstly, the audio sounds a bit distorted. Secondly, the game will crash occasionally, especially when running on a higher resolution, even though you get good enough frame rates. So lowering your resolution seems to help with the crashing. So in the end, I would like to remind you that Counter-Strike 2 is a beta game running under a Mac OS Sonoma which is also a beta operating system using Apple's game porting toolkit which is also a beta software. So there is a mix of incomplete software going on here and the final release of Counter-Strike 2 will perform exponentially better than what we will see here today or any other game that might get a Mac release for that matter would perform marginally better than the performance you will be seeing while running it through game porting toolkit. This is it for the video. Do let me know in the comments if you guys experienced any problems installing Counter-Strike 2 on your Apple Silicon Macs. Thank you for watching. Good luck. Have fun.